Welcome back, Borderlands community, and welcome to another Borderlands 3 video. I'm your host, Rising Oblivion. Guys, got some news from you here at the uh, Borderlands website. The Borderlands 3 Challenge Contest has been revealed at Gamescom. This video is a little bit late, but working on some stuff, guys. But um, if you guys have played any of the Borderlands games, even back to Borderlands 1 and you know, Borderlands 2, and even pre-sequel, there has been these challenge areas. Most of them, and like Borderlands 2 and Borderlands pre-sequel, they have been pre-order bonuses, where you pre-order the game, and you get this like circle of slaughter type of deal. If you guys have played the Borderlands 1 Moxie DLC, it's the same thing. Basically, you just go in, you just shoot for days. There's typically no story aspects to it, but you're just constantly fighting, getting new loot, just XP and stuff like that. These are really good XP grinds. If you're stuck at a, like a really hard mission in the story, you come here and just fight a bunch of waves. Honestly, I've had some of the funnest times playing Borderlands, doing some of these. They can be a little bit redundant, but it forces you to kind of just make your own fun and just talk with your friends and uh, just have a really good, you know, fun time. But um, they have announced there are going to be Circle of Slaughter stuff in Borderlands 3. I know a lot of people don't like them because they can be a little bit boring and redundant and you're constantly doing the same thing. But if you're a person who likes to grind on Borderlands, grind to get weapons, grind to get different gear, and just kind of grind your levels. Just like me, um, you know, I love these types of things. And they are optional, but they are very helpful. So let's just go over what happened to you. This was in Gamescom in Germany. So um, we really didn't get to see a whole lot of it because it's only in Germany. But uh, let's just read through this here. If you're a type of Vault Hunter who loves a challenge, Borderlands 3 lets you test your skills to score some top tier loot in the crucibles of all new proving grounds and returning circle of slaughter areas gearbox creator paul sage uh announced these borderlands 3 features in a conversation with jeff knightley i think is how you say that during gamescom opening night live in um Klong, Germany, uh revealing how these rewarding and highly replayable missions work so it sounds like they're replayable um maybe you don't just turn in the mission after you do a wave and it's done you can actually just constantly keep replaying them it seems like that might be something we have, um, have a you know a change in with the Circle of Slaughter stuff. Throughout Borderlands 3's journey across the Source system, you'll find Circle of Slaughter areas sponsored by the Combustion Obsessed Manufacturers at Torg. So it seems like Torg is going to be the ones, um, just the manufacturer Torg in general is going to be the person to be you know doing these Circle of Slaughter stuff instead of Moxie. We've seen Moxie, a couple of different random people, even a Hyperion one at the end of Borderlands 2 um, in Iridium Blight. We have seen um, the robot there. He does a Circle of Slaughter type of deal also. With different enemies and of course you know they have the the wildlife preservation also has one as well different places have done it but it looks like torg is going to be the one doing that uh the torg uh, you know stuff itself it even says this here all while your the all while your dedicated delicate ears will be graced by the expelled hollering of mr torg himself uh, yeah, i can see this being really crazy um just having him do this but um Let's continue on here. Once you've signed up for the Circle of Slaughter, it is do or die. If you're downed and no one's around to revive you, your run is officially over and you can say goodbye to your big payout. You know, the Circle of Slaughter has always been like that. You'll be up against an army of enemies who attack in droves of five rounds with multiple waves each. We've seen that before. Blasting everything that moves until no bandit, bot, or hostile beast is left standing. So we'll be finding bandit spots and the actual beasts instead of just like one type of enemy. All while hearing Torg who provides some extremely colorful commentary and doesn't tolerate failure if you're hoping to impress Mr. Torg and his impossibly massive packs, you can show off some flair by completing bonus objectives while racking kills via melee, ground slams, or if you really want to ponder your targets, audience, grenades, explosions, of course. Later in the campaign, you'll be worthy of taking part in the Proving Grounds themed gauntlets watched over by a guardian known as the Overseer who wishes to test your uh, metal on behalf of the mysterious masters. So this sounds crazy. This one here is a little bit different than what we've seen It is actually done by a guardian called the overseer I'm guessing this might be somewhere in space or somewhere on one of the other planets be like Eden 6 or Prometheus or something like that I don't know. It'd be really cool if we just had the like a certain planet all of itself and just that certain planet is an entire um, Like circle of slaughter type of thing. I think that'd be really dope uh, proving Grounds are racist against the clock, tasking you with butching way through three areas filled with baddies and beating a boss in 30 minutes or less. If you complete the chosen trial quickly and effectively, you'll earn better bounties for even greater rewards. You can complete bonus objectives like beating the Proving Grounds without dying, completing with a certain amount of time remaining, or managing to find and eliminate an exclusive Fallen Guardian who roams the area. The chests that await at the end of the Proving Grounds will always contain valuable loot, but you'll need to display true mastery if you want to um, get the best rewards. So 
it seems like the Torg stuff might be early game. The Circle Slaughter stuff, you know, the basic ones that we have seen have uh, little bonus objectives by Torg, like like I said, like the melee, the ground slams, or the explosions. But it says here later in the campaign, we'll be doing stuff for the Overseer and the Proving Grounds, uh, which are like races. So we have different objectives, like uh, beating the boss in 30 minutes or less, completing bounties, uh, time trials. It looks like completing these different bonuses will give us better stuff, you know, completing it without dying, uh, a certain amount of time remaining. So I don't know if this is a kind of like a battle royale type of thing, like a real actual battle royale, like a gladiator one, which most of the circle of slaughter has been like that. It's kind of like this cathedral built around it. You need to fight in the middle. It sounds like some of these stuff in the proving grounds are actually just, you know, like time trials if you guys have ever played destiny 2 you might understand that kind of it's a little bit like that with trials i think this would be really fun i'm not sure it doesn't say if these were replayable or not but i think this would be something uh um, pretty cool if you're attending gamescom in person you've got borderlands replayable with flak the base master blah 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 um when Borderlands launches on September 13th, the Proven Guys and Circle of Slaughter challenges will be waiting. If you believe you really want some premium loot, so both of those things will be in the game. We have two, at least guaranteed, Circle of Slaughter areas. I don't know if they're, you know, they could be hiding some of that stuff behind. Hopefully, this isn't pre-order only, like exclusive. I would like this to be stuff that you can just, you know, get throughout the game. I think the Overseer stuff might be, but I don't know if the Torg Circle of Slaughter stuff will be. Borderlands 2 and Borderlands pre-sequel both did a thing where you have to pre-order the game, then you get the Circle of Slaughter, you know, after that. Um, but overall, I'm, I'm glad to see these returning. Let me know, guys, down below if you like these kind of things. I really love them. I think they're fun. I've always liked the Circle of Slaughter stuff because I just feel like overall it's really nice to have if you're, especially if you're under-leveled and you're trying to go through the campaign and all the side quests kind of aren't just giving you enough XP, but going here and just farming enemies over and over and over again, which help you complete challenges, which in turn help you out even more with like XP and stuff like that. So overall, these Circle of Slaughter stuff just make you stronger and stronger. Every time I get a chance to do them, I do them right away so I can be as strong as possible when going into the main campaign and fighting bosses. I'm the kind of player who always does the side quests. So I'm definitely going to include the Circle of Slaughter stuff here, and I'm really interested to seeing what the Overseer thing is. I think those can be some really cool challenges, but they definitely seem like they're going to be more difficult than just the typical, you know, Circle of Slaughter stuff. So we might be getting some really good loot and some really good gear by doing those. Um, I think one thing people hated the most about the Circle of Slaughter stuff is they didn't feel as rewarded in terms of like items. It felt like more just get a bunch of XP, do a bunch of like, um, you know, badass challenges and get money and XP. It didn't actually give you guns that were good unless something just randomly dropped from an, you know, an enemy, which is like one in a million for half of the guns that are like decent like that. So it sounds like they're actually trying to give you some decent rewards, especially by giving you these certain challenges you could do during the gauntlets, which will give you, you know, even better stuff and reward you better, which, which is nice. I'm glad that they're actually doing that. And it looks like the Overseer is actually giving some, like, a little bit of, like, story behind it. And it's just eliminating the Fallen Guard from the area. So, I don't know if this is, like, its own world or its own little place or, like, Colosseum type of place. It sounds like it's a whole just area where you have to do all these time trials in. And then the Guardian is just kind of chilling out somewhere there. I'm guessing that's going to be... I'm calling it now. I'm guessing that's going to be a boss. I mean, it has to be like a badass boss or something like that. It's probably going to be someone who we have to do towards the end of, you know, all the proving grounds. And of course, the proving grounds give you the loot, gives you the chests at the end. I love that when you just open up like a bunch of the red chests up out of nowhere. So it sounds like we're actually getting rewarded, which makes me happy that we're finally getting rewarded properly for those things instead of just having to grind and grind and grind and just get like no normal money and stuff like that but um i think i'm gonna wrap up this video guys i'm gonna have the zane skill tree video out pretty soon i've been working on some other stuff but um i'll have that out soon check the links down below if you want to see me live stream this game i will be live streaming it here on youtube completing the full campaign probably doing a couple side quests along the way but uh, i will catch you guys all in the next video twitch is linked down below thank you guys for watching this video